lads asked me to come and, and, and do, a, I suppose, a, a, what would be a soccer presentation, chatting about managers and what I've learned from, from soccer over the last few years and, and just let lads take their own messages away from that. Um, I'd be a huge, huge believer that that we, we have to expand beyond our own sport. I mean, what man management, communication, all those kinds of things, what applies in hurling, applies in soccer, applies in hockey, applies in basketball. Um, I think there's huge, huge opportunity for coaches to look outside of their own direct domains. If you look at, at, at me as a, as a soccer man, like you talk about how to deal with people. I mean, I would learn massive, massive amounts from listening to the likes of Derek McGrath talk and, and, and fellas within GA circles, huge, huge amounts. And I think that applies the other way around as well. I think, I think GA coaches listening to, to Stephen Kenny and how Stephen deals with people and how he creates relationships with people. I think that, that works both ways. It's trying to be kind of egoless as much as you possibly can. I think there is at times, I think the nature of, of the job, sometimes you, you tend to get carried away with, your own role within the whole setup. I told the story down below at, at, at the presentation of when I started out managing an underage team, a, a strong underage team who who I thought were brilliant and they got to an All-Ireland final and we sent them off for, for international trials, half a dozen of the team off for international trials and only one of them made it and I had a good relationship with the international manager so I, I was able to ring him up and say, you know, I was really disappointed there. I thought a few more had only one than one would make it. And he just changed my complete perspective on coaching. He said, he said, Shane, I've seen you a few times this year. You're really, really excellent. But you say, do this, do that, do this, do that. And they do it all. They do everything you tell them to do, they do it. And that's brilliant. And that's why you're winning games. When they turn up at a trial and you're not there to say, do this, do this, do this, do this, they're not able to make their own decisions. They're not able to make their own decisions. And I think that's the big thing is that as much and all as you want to win, can you create decision makers? Can you create people who are going to fulfill their potential rather than creating teams that are going to win the game next week?